What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Power BI tutorial series. Today, we're going to be looking at how to drill down in visualizations. So when I say drill down, I mean you're basically adding another layer beneath the top layer of the visualization. And when somebody clicks or drills down into that data, they can see more insights and more information on the top level of data. When you drill down, you can also drill up and I will show you how to do that in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump on my screen and get started with the tutorial. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to remind you that you can find the data that we are gonna be working with in this tutorial in the description. You can go and download it from my GitHub. Now, the two tables that we're gonna be looking at are Apocalypse Sales and Purchase Tracker. And if you've ever created any visualizations, you've probably seen something like this where you'll have the store and the price, and this is the, the things that we actually bought. So this is the total amount of Apocalypse prepping uh, equipment that we bought. And we'll put the store in this legend right here. And you've probably seen something like this. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna be in a meeting and you're gonna be presenting this and some higher up is gonna be like, hey, Alex, Alex, great. But I wanna you know, see what things we actually bought in Target and how much this costs. Can you create a visualization for that? And you're gonna be like, well, I could, or I could use drill down. And so you could have done this in the first place, uh, which you should have. So what we're gonna do is all we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna say the product right here, and these are gonna be the actual things, and we're gonna put it right under store. Now you can't see these things, right? But there is a, a hierarchy here. So once we added this, these options became available. Let's take it out, and all those just disappeared. And then if we add it back right here, they came back. And so you can do right here, which is click to turn on drill down. You can go to the next level in the hierarchy, or you can even expand all down one level in the hierarchy. So let's look at each of those really quickly. So let's click on this one. It's just gonna turn on drill down mode. So now if I go and I click on target, it's gonna drill down into these. And if we want to, I can then put product under this legend and we can see all of those things. But of course, if we go back up, it's gonna be all broken up into this clustered column chart, which is more like uh, this, which isn't exactly what we were going for, but it works. Now, uh, let me get rid of this. I actually want store in the legend. Now, if we turn that off and we click, it doesn't do that anymore. So what it does now is it just highlights Walmart, it highlights Costco, it highlights Target. So we're gonna keep that on. Uh, but we can also do something called going down the next level of hierarchy. So let's click on that. And so now this is going to go down to the next level, down to this product level, because that is the next level. And now it's going to show us each of those things, but it's going to have it broken out by the store. And so it's a completely different visualization, but all within the same realm of the data that we're looking at and what we actually care about. So let's go back up in the hierarchy. And then let's use this one right here, which is expand all down one level in the hierarchy. And so this one is again, extremely similar, except it just visualizes it differently. And now what it's doing is Walmart rice, Target dried beans, Costco rice. So instead of having it all uh, like this one, where it's stacked on top of each other, it's breaking it down individually. So this one column would become three separate columns. Now I'm gonna minimize this right here. Uh, I'm actually gonna go back up in the hierarchy, just for visual purposes. Now I'm gonna show you one more example. I'm gonna use this Apocalypse Sales up here. And this is one that I actually use all the time. So the one you've seen, it, it, you know, you'll get stuff like that, especially if you're working with like sales and stuff. But I work in operations, right? So I have a lot of order IDs, product IDs, stuff like that. Now this one, this one genuinely I use quite often. I'll have a customer. Uh, let's make it, uh, we'll just go like this. We have a customer and we have units sold. And let's use the customer as the legend. So let's make this one quite a bit larger. And I'll have something like this and they'll say, okay, well, we wanna see the order IDs that go with it. Cause we wanna know what orders are actually happening for each of these people. Obviously I'm not using this exact data, but very, very, very similar. And all you have to do is take these order IDs and slide it right under here under customer. And this visualization right here is something I've done a thousand times because what happens is, is someone, some stakeholder in our company is saying, hey, Alex, we want this and we want to know, we want to drill down on this IP address. We want to drill down on this certain database. We want to drill down on something and we want to see the order IDs within them. So then all you do is you turn on drill mode 
or drill down mode, you'll click on it and you can see every single order ID that's in there. And then they can go and look those up in their system and resolve them or, or whatever they're trying to do with it. And it helps a ton and it's very, very useful. This one is extremely applicable. And that's really all drill down is. Again, you have these different hierarchies as well, um, but for different things, it's not as useful as you can see. We also have this hierarchy, which again, is not as useful. So it just depends on the data that you're using and how you wanna use this drill down effect. But I promise you that drill down is used all the time, especially when you're giving presentations where people want to know more information than just the, the visualization that you're presenting. So I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that you understand drill down a little bit better. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and check out all my other videos on Power BI. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.